Hello everybody, this is Norman Ray Jr. I am committed to equipping consultants and coaches to get immediate and executable results. That being said, today what I'm focusing on is this cool video uh, showcasing Trello, T-R-E-L-L-O. Trello is a free software that is for project management. Trello is the free, flexible, and visual way organize anything with anyone and as a consultant or a coach we know the name of the game is billable hours or billable projects so keeping your projects and your time organized uh, is, is very important to us and um, that's where I kept, come across this pro, uh, program about nine months ago and I'm just now getting to it uh, creating this video because I wanted to try it out myself I've been using it for the past nine months. I fell in love with it. It's nice because it's cloud-based. It's nice because it's on all my devices, my iPhone, my iPad, my Mac laptop, my Mac desktop. I can log into it from anywhere in the world. It's also really cool because I can create teams, different organizations for different uh, task sets, for different projects. So, uh, and I can share with anybody uh, in the world and watch what they do and, and collaborate in real time. It's a really nice tool. It also is really nice that you can add attachments to it from all your uh, leading cloud-based hosting companies like Google, Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, so on and so forth. So all that being said, let's begin. Let's just log right into this demo account. Okay, so I'm logged into my demo account just for this video purposes. As you can see, I have some activity that I already did in here and it automatically keeps track of all your activity, all your notes, all your um, things that you completed, everything, which is really, really nice. It's functional. Uh, we're in a profile section, as you can see here. You can add a photo. I uploaded this photo a little bit earlier today. You don't have to have an avatar if you don't want to. That's fine. Uh, you can take a new photo and update a new photo. Uh, edit your profile, your name, your username, your initials, and then a little brief bio on yourself if you want to have that on there. Um, now, again, you can upgrade to Trello Gold or Trello Business. Um, I haven't seen a real need. I'm not saying there isn't one. For me and for what I do right now today, I just use the free version, and it works beautifully. So that being said, let's dive right into that. I'm going to click over here on board, see where I'm at. And I'm going to click on Master To-Do List. Now, I'm going to get right to the crux of the program. It's broken down into three main areas. Your board, which is everything you see here in blue. And then you have your lists. So you can add a list. And I'm going to call this list uh, To Do. Save it. This list I'm going to call Doing. And I'm going to save it. And this one's going to be called Done. That's it. So you have your board and your list, your main list. Now, the third component that's important is these cards. You can add a card. The way I use this board is my board is my main project workflow. Everything I got going in uh, or going on in my organization that I want to get accomplished is on this board. Each list is a, a face, to do, doing, or done. Each card is a project. Now, the way I label my cards is I use the client name and then colon the project name. So, for instance, I'll do client um, A, B, C. I'll do a colon, and then I'm going to say webinar. So let's say I'm doing a webinar for client A, B, C. I'm going to create another card, which is a project, client X, Y, Z, and let's call this project blog post. Uh, I'm going to write a blog post for them. Okay, you hit save. There you go. You got two cards. The, the real magic behind Trello is this. I can drag the card to any phase, any area on here. Now, everybody who's subscribed, for instance, or invited as a member to this board will see this information move around the board. It's beautiful. Now, inside each of these cards, for instance, you have a whole bunch of different items. So we can add a description, which I always recommend adding a detailed description. So for this ABC webinar, um, client, oops, wants a custom webinar on how to leverage social strategies. 
right, so a client wants to uh, have me do a, a webinar on how they can leverage social strategies hit save. So that gives me a for instance of what I need to do with that. You got activity lit list on here. So every time you have an activity, every time you do something related to that project, you document it. So for instance, um, they want a special focus, whoops, spell, focus on LinkedIn. All right. So that way I have a special note. Now what's cool, and I don't know if you noticed it, you can mention a member. So if I have like three, four, five, 10, 15 members on my team that are accessing this particular card, this project, or this board, I can assign a member. I can make mention of a member inside here, and they'll get notification via email that I made mention of them on this particular activity. So they can review it and see if it pertain, if it's important for them, or it, maybe it's just an FYI. All right. So what else can we do in here? Notice how it puts the, the timestamp and everything. So that's really nice to keep track of where everybody's at and when they did certain things. Now you can assign members over here by clicking on members. So if I had 15 members in here, for instance, you can search for them, but you can assign it. So I can assign me to this particular project, just like I did. And then I can just click on here again. I can assign another person if I wanted to. Now here's labels. Labels is really cool. Labels enables us to customize these colors. I did a few sample ones here. You know, this uh, green means this project's in production or it's on hold or waiting for a client or urgent or ready to invoice, for instance. But here's all the colors you can use um, for the labels. So let's add this one as in production. Bam. And you can add multiple. I can say on hold. Or I can say it's in production, but I'm waiting on a client. In production, but urgent. Uh, whatever I decide I want to say on that. And here's another nice dynamic to the whole package is checklists. You got a checklist. So I like checklists. A project could have multiple phases, multiple steps, right? So we can create a checklist. Now, by adding a title to this, I enable a function that I can use this over and over again. So let's just call this um, webinar list. Okay. Bam. So here we go. So I can add um, step one step, two step, three, so on and so forth. Picture. So I can have as many of these as I want, and I can call anything I want. And then when I'm done with with whatever I'm working on, I just hit boom. I mark it off. And you can see it shows you the progression of how far, how much you've completed on that particular this particular checklist. Pretty nice, huh? Moving down further, due dates. Beautiful. So if we have a due date of the 9th, for instance, you hit save, boom, it pops up here. But you can also see it pops up over here. I'm going to come out of here and show you. So the client, the project, we have uh, me, I'm following it. That's what the little I is, I'm subscribed. There's a description, that's what that means. Uh, there's one activity note in there. Shows that there's a checklist with three items. None of them is zero over three, so none of them are completed. And it shows when the things do. So in a, at a glance, it gives you a ton of data. It also shows you who's assigned to this project. How nice is that? Let's go back into it. So we're inside here. We have a due date. Well, let's say the due date is tomorrow instead of on the 9th. We hit save. Notice how it changes to yellow. So it's showing us, hey, it's coming up soon. So it kind of shows you a little bit more of a sense of urgency, if you will. But if we change it to today, let's say at 12 noon, which is already passed because it's almost three, boom, it gives you the red, past due, it means you've got to jump all over that project. So that's nice features uh, for this. I'm going to put out here to the night just because I don't want to be overdue. Uh, next, you can do attachments. Now, with attachments, you can upload it from your computer or if you use other cloud-based services like Google Drive, Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, you can have the links to those documents right in here and it just pulls the file right in and you have you just click on it it opens it right up in its native program like Google Drive for instance so that's really cool because you want to keep all your information together in one centralized area instead of people hunting all over the computer trying to find or the server trying to find different documents or photos or materials related to this project you can have it all attached right here 
in one centralized area related to the project. Very cool. I love that feature. Um, next, you can move this card to other boards or wherever you want to move it to. You can create a copy of it, of course. Subscribe, we already did that. Archives, when you're done with the project, you can click Archive. It says this card is archived. Uh, I'm going to bring it back to board. And uh, it's back over here. But share and more, if you're here, you can print this. You know, a lot of times people want to print for their records, print to put it into a file. You know, if this project's completed, you can print it out and put it in your file. Other people like to print it out so they can reference on their desk a checklist. Either way, you have that flexibility. And, of course, you can also email uh, the information off to people as well, email this card. So that's really nice. But here's where the rubber meets the road with this program. You create your to-dos. When you're ready to work on it, you grab it, you drag it. Boom. I'm working on this project. I go through all the steps. I get everything done. I need done. I put on here, done. They loved it. Bam. Hit comment. I'm done. Come over here. I can grab it and drag it to the done category. Grab my next project. Let me get working on it. You see how that works? Real clean. You can have 100 over here if you wanted to. But what I've done with my boards for my company is I take it a step further. I create another list called Ready to Invoice. You know, we don't want invoicing slipping through the cracks, right? Billables, billable, 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 billables is what we're all about. Uh, you know, obviously solving the client's needs, of course. But at the end of the day, we have to make money. If we're not billing for our time or our projects, we're going to be out of business. So ready to invoice. What I normally do then is on the project, I come in here into labels. I create a ready to invoice color. Turn off the every other thing that I'm, I'm done with. Now, this, I know that's the color code for ready to invoice. I drag it, put it over here. My bookkeeper now comes in. She can see everything that needs to be invoiced. She can click on this, get all the information. If I want, a lot of times I'll, I'll put a price in here. You know, please invoice. And then, you know, a lot of times I'll put a, a dollar figure or whatever in here. And then she knows how much to invoice for. Sometimes I'll write a cu customized description. And she could take care of that. And when she's done with it, and she say, okay, I'm done with this, she'll make a note, for instance, inside of here, like, um, like, let's say I'm her, you know, okay, it's sent, right? So I know it's been sent, and then she can go ahead and archive it. I hit archive out here, right? See how I did that with that little pencil edit thing? Or she can click on it like that, Hit archive down there. As you can see, it's gone. I don't have to worry about it. She doesn't have to worry about it. We know it's been all the way completed. Client approved it, loved it. Invoice, she said she invoiced it, marked it on the notes, also archived it. But what if a client calls me and says, hey, Norm, what did we do on that last project? Or let's say I have a question. Simple. Just come here and you can do a search. So that was a, that was a webinar. Okay, and there it is, the webinar. And I can say send back the board. It brings it back here. I can open it up and I can go through all the notes. So if my let's say the um, client never got the invoice, I can double check to see if she sent it. It's that simple. How cool is this? Now I've seen other people use Trello as phases. They'll have, you know, maybe they have their business model as they do everything in phases. They might have phase one, two, three, four, and they lead everything through that way. Um, you know, again, you can have multiple boards working together. Like right now, it's here's my boards. And what is this? You know, master to do list, but I can create another board. Let's say billable projects. In fact, let's do that just so I can show you. Not billable. Say um, invoiced. So let's say I want instead of it being archived, I want my bookkeeper to send stuff to the invoiced board. Okay. Let's go over there and set that board up. Boom. So now I'm on the invoiced board. Um, I can come in here and say um, sent. That's all I need. Sent. Oops. Sorry about that. All right. So I'm going to go back to my other board. Let's say so I don't get confused. I color code them. How do I do that? Simple. 
over here, menu up top here, change background. I'll make this one green because it was sent. Simple. I'll review these other things in a few moments. Go back to my blue board, which is my master to-do list. And let's say when she's done with this, instead of hitting archive, I could just have her move it by clicking move board, go to invoiced, click on list sent, hit move. So it's no longer here. If I want to check it now, I just come over here and there it is. So that way it's not an archive, it's on a visible board. So you can have these boards working in tandem with one another, which is really pretty stinking cool when you ask if you ask me. All right, so that being said, I want to show you this master list over here. Again, this keeps track of all your activity, and you can leave this out or you can slide it in. It's up to you. Um, you can add members right here. If I want to add a member, I'd put their email address in. If they already have Trello, they would just be assigned to this organization or this board. If they don't, they can sign up free and engage in it. It's real easy to use. Up here is our main menu. We get into power ups, labels, stickers, so on and so forth. Power ups, you have the voting one, which I just showed you. I'm going to disable it because I really don't use it. Um, but the calendar one's really nice. By enabling calendar, you can have all your Trello tasks synchronized with your Google Calendar, your Outlook Calendar, or your iCal on Mac Calendar. Um, as long as it has a due date, it'll pop up on your calendar. How cool is that? That way you can go about your bit, your day-to-day -day business using your normal calendar and you can see tasks that are going to be due and coming up due. So it makes you kind of, you know, reminding you go back to Trello and check your work, right? And then you have card aging, uh, which I never use this particular power-up. Um, you also have labels. If you, we already talked about that, you can create your master labels here if you want. Stickers, I don't really use these. Um, I'm sure some people would enjoy using them. Um, I don't do it. You can, if you have Trillo Gold or Trillo Business Class, you can do other labels that they give you, but you also do customized ones. So I can see some functionality there. Um, but for me, I'm okay not having that. Okay, I already, I already talked about changing the background. Again, if you have Gold or Business Class, you can have cool picture ones if you wanted to, or even customized ones. But again, I don't really see the need for me you might want to do that. And then you can also email the board settings to somebody, share print, export, you know, just additional uh, normal admin type settings over here. So that's it. It's not that complicated. It's very easy to use. As a consultant or coach, this is a wonderful tool, and you can use this tool on your iPhone, and it synchronizes, and on your Android, I believe. And it's real easy to use. You can add... Um, different plugins, like I use Google Mail and Gmail uh, for business, I have a business enterprise edition, and there's a plugin where I can, if a client sends me a piece of information, a project, I click on a button and send it right to this board immediately. So that's also some nice functionality that helps you just streamline everything, make things nice and easy. So that's it, folks. I hope this wasn't too long. I hope it gave you a lot of valuable information. I hope you see a lot of value in this particular piece of software that's free. Uh, if you engage with this software and start using this, please let me know how you're using it. Leave comment on the bottom of the blog post. I'd love to hear from you. And if you want any other kind of, uh, you have any other kind of questions related to any kind of software that could help you streamline or automate your business or help you get new business, please feel free to ask me. Until next time, this is Norman Wright Jr. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.